<laughs> this young boy is just courageous. Yeye ni kijana courageous. Kijana ame alikuwa na girlfriend kijana mdogo akatembelea akatembelea of course the girlfriend wakaenda kuona mama mama ya girlfriend. Kwenda kuona mama ya girlfriend ati pale hospitali alipata wakisema daktari akisema it's not much it's not much it's not much. Yeye hajui ni nini ya match. Ah kijana akaambua sasa unajua ah ye, ms, kijana anasema hakuwa na jua girlfriend wake hakuwa amemwambia and this are young, young people you know kijana ni kama alikuwa amemaliza tu shule so aya akusikia tia imagine so girlfriend akamwambia unajua mama yangu ni mgonjwa anahitaji nini anahitaji mtu anaweza do, anaweza donate kidney so kijana akaenda pale yeye akachukuliwa damu yake kijana akafanya nini kijana akachukuliwa of course whatever they do the, the, the match sasa daktari akatoka akasema it is matching ya huyu kijana ina match kijana ni mdogo kijana akaenda akatolewa wazi whatever that was you know ile kitu ilikuwa inatolewa of course ni kidney yake moja ndio mama ya girlfriend apatiwe young people just a young young yani kijana tu mdogo kijana mdogo but kijana very courageous i, I mean and what shocked me ni huyu kijana kujitolea yani mapenzi inakuja na ujinga and we understand some of us have done even crazier things but for this one ay, 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 ay. so i was i was listening to that story and i was like ngoja kidogo yani kijana kwanza vile anapeana hiyo story ya you can go and watch nitaweka hiyo link down hapo because i think hata sisi wazazi tunafaa tusome na hizi vitu because hiyo story i mean i mean i mean we look at our sons sometimes we see they are disturbed and we don't know what is disturbing them kumbe vitu ni mingi zina happen so now let's go back kabisa wacha kututupa now hii story wacha twende so kijana akaenda akatolewa ajambie wazazi wake hakuna mtu kwa family yake anajua sababu kijana amebebwa na nini? Ha amebebwa na lava, amebebwa na mapenzi ya uko ile. No no. no. <laughs> Aka kijana msichana. So there's a time that came akaambua unaweza chukua hii pesa. I think it was around 800,000 or something like that. As, as it was a lot of money. Alikuwa anapatiwa in exchange of the kidney. Kijana akasema hapana. Now the same day yeye alitolewa hospitali after ame ame, ame donate ame you know ametolewa ile kidney ikapatiwa mama and mama got well so that's that same day kijana akachukuliwa na the girlfriend girlfriend alikuwa na gari akamwambia sasa um you know what i'm going to pick my boyfriend msichana anaambia kijana mimi naenda kuchukua girlfriend yangu sasa wewe nitakuweka stage fulani sijui Karen i don't know those sides kijana juu afike kwa nyumba aje kijana ndio huyo na and you can imagine ni mtu ametoka ametoka dieta because alirudi kujijua i think that thing took the, the operation took like eight hours so kijana i don't know how he made it i don't know how he made it so i i, I think hata alikuwa anasikia dizziness or something like that but anyway so okay girlfriend akamwambia now i'm going to take i'm going to i'm going to to, to 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 drop you here you just find yourself home because i'm just going to pick my boyfriend boyfriend yako alikuwa na kama juu mimi ndio naenda kumfanya naenda kumchukua kijana was shocked kijana was shocked kijana akamuuliza what are you telling me nafikiri kijana alikuwa anafikiri eh ama ni madawa inafanya kazi so kumbe msichana akamwambia ako na girlfriend ako na boyfriend yake mwingine boyfriend amekuja sasa wakati wa covid kwa hivyo you just get you we we waenda nyumbani and that's how the boy now akaachwa hapo got dropped akatafuta place ako na love bado ako na ile mapenzi so after some time eh, akafikiria hivi akashindwa ah kidine kweda Girlfriend, hey, hey, hatiri. Hi, wait a minute. Let me go. Wacha niende nikastone ile pesa. Akaenda akapata the mother. <laughs> akapata yule mama amekaa chini pale. Mama kwa na kidney ya kijana. Ah, akamwambia sasa uh, nilikuwa nataka tuongee ile maneno ya pesa. Nobody in his family knows. Hakuna mtu kwa familia huyu kijana anajua what is going on. They are just seeing a sick boy. I think so but maybe the mother was like, "Labda ni puberty, labda ni you growing up, you know, labda ni you know, I, I'm just trying to imagine, you know." So, kijana akaangalia mama, akaona mama pale, mama akona kidney yake, akamwambia <laughs> 
don't know what I'm laughing. I don't know what I'm laughing. But seriously, imagine what to ako na ako na kidney yako. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's okay. We understand, of course, that mother wanted it. Eh? We, we get it. You get it. But now this is a young man, a magitolea, because of love. So, aka akapata mama ndio huyu mama akamwambia he so kijana akamwambia ah now you see now i was thinking of no ile dom ni kama niambilia sana kwa nafikiri kama hizo pesa mimi mnaweza nipatia mama akamwambia na kitu na kola ya kijana akamwambia now you see we cannot <laughs> this is a kenyan story see ya inja akamwambia now now you see kijana hana karatasi yote ana any evidence ata ya kuonyesha you know you know zile stories ziliendelea pale hospital whatever he said or anything like that ai ai kijana akiongeambia akiongeambia tu mtu wewe akiongeambia tu mtu mmoja wa family but anyway so now mama come on this because the boy was like yeah have lost the kidney have lost everything what you know kama ule mama waleza at least fikiria ni patie zile pesa so mama akamwambia now you see vile tulikwambia uchukue pesa now you refused na since ilikuwa hiyo wakati uh, there is nothing much we can do so kijanaka akaenda umesikia mimi yake ningemwambia mami mami mimi itabidi unitolee kidney yangu anyway anyway we are not trying to make fun of it but anyway i think we are going to make fun of it we are going to laugh because this boy is in his healing and he gonna be fine this boy gonna be fine if you kijanu kipatana na hii video just laugh with us just laugh with us cheer up let me tell you kujitolea kama hiyo okay you gonna be fine kijana you gonna be fine hugs hugs a lot you did hata sisi wengine you know now some of us zile ujinga tumefanya kwa sababu ya mapenzi we were about to lose ourselves we are about to lose ourselves but anyway we are still there and you gonna live long to declare and to say the goodness of the Lord. i'm telling you kufanya wema kama ule so the boy now is uh, you know akarudi sasa kafuatwa na so many other things which zenye aziku kuwa mzuri hata kidogo kaibiwa simu i don't know what i don't know what if you go there you can listen to the story so vitu zilianza kukuja mbaya mbaya mpaka watu wakaanza kusema amekufa somebody stole his phone and some or something like that so after somebody stole his phone eh, ikakuja sasa stories juu kijana ndanganya juu hiyo vitu mingi sana mikosi zikamfuata but anyway the you know after me listening to that story i was like hata sisi wazazi sa zingine angalieni tu uzuri wa mtoto. Huyu mama, of course, na ile family, yenye huyu kijana alijitolea. Umesikia so ye, mama yake alirudi kujua by the way hizi vitu kwa mitandao. Ndiye alirudi kujua after kijana ameojoa Reno na Obina, but now hizo ako kwa tuko. Hiyo ndio niliona nikaielewa vizuri. Wazazi walikuwa I think mama alikuwa hivi na kijana akarudi akashikwa na vitu mingi sana. Anyway, right now you think that is not okay. Uh, kwa sababu daktari alimwambia after kidney so I don't know what and what and what but anyway let me tell you do not trust wacha kusikiza hizo report mbaya you are going to live long you are going to live long kijana wacha nikwambie at that young age na ukajitolea uka kabisa because of love or whatever wengine wataita stupidity tutaita vile tunataka but some of these things we don't know why they happen to be like this you are going to live long to declare the goodness of the lord so vijana ni vizuri kukuwa kupenda sio vibaya lakini ukiwa mdogo it is always good to share some things with people that are closer to you or even a friend or even a pastor uh, if they are pastors but i believe there's good people that you can trust siku hizi kuko hata na vitu kwa you know kuko na watu tunaona online wa youtube you know everywhere we are seeing people all over who are good mtu unasikia uko connected na yeye ende muandikie mwambie have this problem have this and this what can you advise me sio lazima hata wale and some people will be genuine na watakupatia zile advice inafa kijana kijana <laughs> Mami wewe ulipatiwa kidney ama hii family nyinyi mnajua mlipatiwa kidney kusema ukweli call this boy muiteni kama boma if you still have something just give this boy at least akue anajua you know he didn't, he didn't do it
evil too. If it was your child, how would you feel? If it was you, imagine somebody saving your mother. And for at wewe mama, at a nini familia. Just give something. Just give something to this boy. Mimi kijana, I salute you. You're gonna be well. You're gonna be fine. We are going to live long. Watch other stories are depression. You are not a person who can be depressed. You are going to live long. That is what we declare. Na wacha ni kwambi your purpose. Your purpose is not yet finished. Some of us me kwambi to me fanya ujinga mingi sana. But we are still living. We are still strong. Kwa sababu kesho yake. Utoku naangalia nyuma unasema. Ah, and you are kuniambia siju inaenda. You are not going anyway. You are going to live long. Vijana, tunawapenda sana. Tunawapenda sana. Me, I would hurt this family. Come at least walibakisha kakitu waita yule kijana. Angala wampatie something. At least he soothe his heart. You know, <laughs> if it was you, wewe ungefanya nini? Wewe unaweza wa advice nini? See you on my next one and I love you so much.